Today, I'm gonna to give you some tips and tricks for finishing your star path fast. First of all, when you log in for the day, make sure that you don't have any tasks that tell you to talk to a villager that day or hang out with somebody because you can always grab that person to hang out with while you go do your other things. When you see the one that says play go fish in the forest of valor, don't be afraid to just fish outside the circles. You won't always catch a fish. Sometimes you're only gonna catch seaweed, but every now and then you will catch a fish and that does count. So don't get caught on just doing it inside the circles. You are gonna have two tasks that involve hanging out or talking to the Monsters Inc. characters, so make sure that you have their realm unlocked. One of them will be to hang out with a villager who's blue and purple, and that's gonna be Sully. And the other will be to chat with the best jokester in the business, and that is gonna be Mike Wazowski. You are gonna to need to craft a Zen garden and one of the DJ sets. So go ahead and check out what you need for those and make sure that you have the supplies before the task even comes up. When fishing for multicolored shrimp, you can either choose to fish for the shrimp in Dazzle Beach, or you can go to Eternity Isle if you have the expansion and fish for the Prisma shrimp there because they also count. When you see the task to remove night thorns in your valley, if you have the expansion, you can go to your utilities, grab your ancient vacuum, and easily remove all the night thorns in your biome just by clicking on them. Don't forget that you can also remove the splinters of fate in Eternity Isle and those will count. Completing dreamlight duties can seem like a lot of work, but if you have the expansion, miss duties will also count towards that task. Picking bright red berries not only includes raspberries and your gooseberries, but it also will include strawberries and cacto berries. So if you have the DLC, make sure you head over to those areas to collect them as well. When you need to go play go fish with some bass, just head over to your peaceful meadow and fish outside the circles. You should be able to catch enough bass to finish this quest. Sometimes you are going to catch the seaweed, but just continue fishing as much as you can and you will catch plenty of bass to finish. When you need to harvest Maui's gift to the valley, head over to where you have your coconuts and those are what you need to grab. If you need to prepare meals with a fruit that is red outside and white inside, just grab an apple and cook it up once and that should count. When you need to dig for something blue, don't forget to head to the mines in the Sunlit Plateau because mining for the Vitalis Crystal also will count for that task. When you need to harvest a pungent spice, it is garlic. And don't forget that if you have the expansion, you can also get garlic from the grove and the lagoon and use your vacuum. Did you know that harvesting fruits that are blue doesn't only mean blueberries? If you have the DLC, you can head over, plant some cosmic figs, harvest those, and they will also count for this task. If you need to mine for an orange gem, it counts for citrine and it also counts for the ever gem. When you need to cook a sleeping princess's birthday cake, that is Aurora's cake. That recipe is going to be raspberry, wheat, sugarcane, egg, and milk. When you get to the task that says to harvest purple from your vegetable patch, you can either plant eggplants, turnips, or the flute root. So make sure you already have those ready to go. So that way when this task comes up, all you have to do is harvest them. When you need to cook something sweet and cold with apples, that's going to be the apple sorbet. So grab an apple, sugar cane, and slush ice to make that. When you need to be on guard when you catch a fish, that's going to be the swordfish. And he can be found in Dazzle Beach with the orange bubbles. When picking the palest blooms, it doesn't only include white flowers, it also includes all of the white and pink flowers. So you have the white and pink falling pinstermon and the white and red hydrangea. Those will also count for that task. To cook a fragrant lancet fish, you're gonna need to make lancet fish padilla. That is lancet fish, shrimp, seafood, tomato, and rice. Fishing for something puffy is going to be the fugu fish, and he is only in Dazzle Beach when it rains. So next time it rains in your valley, run down to Dazzle Beach and look for the orange circles, and that's where you'll find the fugu fish. You can also craft a fishing potion to make this task go by much faster. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that I gave you some tips and tricks to help you finish your star path fast. If you have any other tips or tricks, please leave them below and let me know. Are you finished with your star path? Thanks so much and I hope you have a wonderful day.